everyone is getting vectorified. What I am trying to say is vector portraits are really trending these days and everyone is using their vector turned images all over the internet. Recently after the rise of these AI image generation tools, all the social media platforms are getting flooded with them. I find them pretty cool and I believe so do you and that is why today we are going to create the same effect in Photoshop and turn this image into something like this. Hi guys, welcome back to Dexplorian. For those who don't know me, I am Didi and I am all about designing in Photoshop and sharing the process with you. And in the process, we'll discuss various tools, techniques and tips and tricks which will improve your workflow and level up your graphic design game. We'll first remove the background of the image, then we'll add some adjustment layers, then work with some part filters, then we'll be colorizing the portrait and lastly, we'll be adding some elements and text to complete the poster. Am I forgetting something? Yes, a cup of tea or coffee. So pause this video and go grab one for yourself and let's start the process. We'll start by setting up the canvas and if you are with this channel for quite some time, you might know that I use A4 size canvas quite often and that's why I have created a canvas preset for that which saves me a good amount of time. If you are new here and want to learn to do the same, I have a video for that and you can watch that by clicking on the i button above and the link of the same will be given in the description as well. We'll bring our image onto the canvas and if needed do some resizing. And for the background removal purpose, we'll be using the pen tool here because we have our background totally black and some of our areas are not very visible where quick selection tool might not work properly. And another thing is that we need a very precise and clear and smooth selection for this one. So I will be using the pen tool. Using the pen tool is a time taking affair and so I have made a separate video which is just dedicated to the use of the pen tool. And you know where to find it in the i button above and in the description. And here we have our subject ready. First we will rename it as subject. And now we'll be adding some adjustment layers. First will be a UN saturation layer. We will bring down the saturation to zero. Then we'll the, add the second, which is levels adjustment layer. Adjust it a little bit. And lastly, we'll add posterize layer. And now here we have got slider. Here it is four, which determines the number of colors in this posterize effect. And now if we reduce it, it will be only black and white. And if we we'll increase it to maximum, it will be the normal image. I will be setting it to six where we have only six colors. If you can see, we'll then turn our subject layer into a smart object so that we can add some smart filters onto it. For that, we go to filter, then stylize and apply oil paint. With this, our stylization by default it will be the halfway around 5 we will keep it like that cleanliness will be of 5 in my last video i have also used the oil paint filter where i have discussed it a little more so if you want you can watch that video also where we have created a comic vector effect with the same experiment with the sliders and achieve what you want to do and when you are done you can click ok let me show you one thing here if we click on the UN saturation layer here and then increase the saturation, we can add colors to this. You can also change the color with the hue sliders over here, but I'm not going to do it. So I will keep it as it was before and adjust the level slider a little bit and then move on to add the next filter. For that we go to filter then blur and click on surface blur. What it will do is it will smoothen out the surface you can adjust this radius sliders and the threshold also. As I have said, just experiment. And when you are satisfied, you can click OK. We'll again go to filter and this time we'll click on sharpen and click on unsharp mask to add a little bit of sharpness to our image. I'll adjust the radius and then amount. Next we are going to click on image and go to adjustment and click on shadows and highlights. This is basically an adjustment but here it will act like a filter. By adjusting this slider we can brighten or darken the shadow areas and same we can do for the highlight areas.
when you are done hit ok and then we will select the subject layer and press ctrl or command j to duplicate the layer and move on to the next step and now on this subject copy layer we will add the oil paint filter five more times i will be setting the stylization to around five and cleanliness to five let me do it quickly Here if you can see we have lost the details around some of the areas like in eyes and in the lips. We are gonna add that. For that we will collapse the filter layer and then add a layer mask to our subject copy layer. And now grab the brush tool. Foreground color will be white. Adjust the brush by pressing the right second bracket keys and we'll paint over these areas sorry the foreground color will be black so we're gonna change it by pressing the x key and now when we paint our details and the eyes in our below subject layer will be revealed we'll do the same for this area also at any point of time if you want to adjust the levels you can select the levels adjustment layer and do the same with adjusting the sliders it is totally up to you how you want to adjust your image if you want you can even increase the levels in the posterize so that you can introduce some more shades of the same color i will change it to 11 i think it looks good or 10 will be better and now we'll select all these layers by holding the shift key and clicking on the topmost and bottommost layer and then convert into convert it into a smart object and then we'll rename it as posterize effect and now we're gonna add a solid color adjustment layer i will be selecting a gray shade of gray dark grayish black color and place it below our posterize effect layer then we'll select the posterize effect layer and now we'll press ctrl or command t to activate the transform tool and then right click on it to flip horizontal and i'll be placing my subject here resize it a little bit and now we will be moving on to the next step where we'll be adding a color to our vector portrait for that I'll be adding a solid color adjustment layer, clip it to our poster effect layer and now change the blend mode to overlay or soft light. I think soft light will be better. And now we can change the color. Actually I want to achieve something um, copper or bronze type of color. So we'll be adjusting that. You can choose whatever color you want. And in our next step, we'll be adding one element to our poster. And for that, we will go to ellipse tool and click on that and hold the shift key and drag our cursor to make a circle. And we'll place it just above our background layer and position it like this. Then we'll convert it to a smart object and then go to filter, then blur and click on Gaussian blur. And now we can adjust this radius slider to give it an effect like this. And our next step will be the last step where we will be adding some text. For that we have to click on the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas and type in our text. In this poster I will be using the font poppins. It's free and you can get it on the Google fonts. Increase the size a little bit. We're gonna skew it and for that hold the control or command key and drag it by the handle to skew. And then we'll make a duplicate of it by holding the alt or option key. And when the cursor changes just click and drag to make a copy of it and then double click to edit it. I will be repeating the process a couple of times more. And our today's poster is complete. Hope you enjoyed the poster creation process as much as I enjoyed creating it. 
If so, please give it a like and share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel because I keep creating such posters and uploading the videos of the same. You can also connect with me on Pinterest and Instagram. I'll be posting my next video very soon where we'll be taking this vector effect to the next level. This is it for now and I will see you soon with my new creation. Bye.